cat face theory. Whoa, what's this? Dude is tracing the cat's face to draw <gasps> an anime face. Uh, it's giving furry. Ew, disgusting. Okay, this is the final result. It's Megzi. We need to try it out. First off, I just want to say dogs are better than cats. It's just facts. Anyway, let's start doing the eyes. We're gonna extend the eyeliner a little bit just for the aesthetic. She got cat eyes, literally. Okay, the nose will be here and then the juicy lips. Okay, okay. This is what it looks like so far. Wait a second. What? Holy crap. Wow, it really does look like a face. Let's add the chin real quick. Bro, the cat looks like it has a double chin now. Let's start drawing the face. I draw the face shape first before drawing the eyes usually, so I'm not really used to this. Okay, so I'm just yassifying her before we add the hair. Okay, okay. Now we add the hair real quick. My goodness, guys. This legit looks so good. I'm gonna turn into a furry. 11 out of 10. Do this, but with a horse. Ooh, interesting. What a very distinguished gentleman. Hold on. Is that is that Markiplier? It's Megzi. 69 out of 10. Draw the side profile from a cat. Oh, I mean, anime has always been based on cats, so it makes sense that you can draw an anime girl from this. What the? The comments over here. Liked by user Cooleen. Cats got that Cooleen side profile. Cooleen core. Wow, very funny and original. Um, y'all are obsessed with me for real. Let's try it out. We got here an orange cat for good luck. So let's lower the opacity real quick. The eyes are slanted like this as well as the eyebrows because it's side view now we draw the nose and the juicy lips okay let's remove the cat real quick bam smegzy bald girl that's a 1000 out of 10 tip right there next black highlights over french flag <gasps> did you just use black to shade that's a forbidden rule wow bro got the entire universe in their eyes okay this guy is really taking their time to zoom out wow do you have small fingers Ooh, the art is very shiny and lickable, like a bald head. Okay, so I have this corny as heck emo boy drawing. Let's try it out. So we gotta put the black on the top part and then add the sparkle white stuff. Okay, zoom out, zoom out. Huh. Why does he look like he's about to cry? It made him look like a cutie patootie. Okay, I'm gonna add more sparkles like the TikTok. Random circles like that. Bro, his eyes look really big now. Bro, why does he look like he whimpers? Ew. 100 out of 10. Okay, what's going on here? Extract line drawing. Okay. Uh interesting wait that's the end of it is it just me or nothing happened you know what let's just do it okay so i think we can only do this on ibis paint and i have this drawing from procreate let me just get the character real quick okay so first we duplicate then fx filter extract line drawing okay so already there's a difference she looks a little bit edgier like she was already edgy but now she looks like she's a 14 year old arctic monkeys fan let me try it with a background okay well this just basically looks like a polar noise filter hold on hold on let me cook i'm gonna put a noise filter and boom plus 1000 edginess now it sort of looks like a film camera filter i don't know if you can see okay cool seven out of ten next you're drawing mouse the wrong way what you are you telling me that that is supposed to be the right method no freaking way where are the juicy lips then negative 100 out of 10 zooey mama okay jokes aside this is what i mean when i say digital art is superior what is this look at that you can draw a mouth in like 30 seconds let's try it out just look for the lasso fill tool this is on clip studio look at that once you select a certain part shazam lazy art tips psa for all the brokies out there you can also do this on ibis paint boom shazam like why do people even draw on paper at this point bro let's do a little smiley face then the lasso tool real quick ah i can already see the teeth now let's do the lower part and then we're gonna shade the back parts like this Ooh, very smexy teeth okay don't be afraid to use a reference because we're all stupid like that and we need the reference okay if you know the original artist let me know i just found this on pinterest we draw the fangs real quick okay very sharp vampire teeth let's add the rest of the face all right bro got a ginormous mouth eight out of ten next hand tutorial please trace lol by tracing and heavily referencing hands you save time get a better drawing and learn how to do them by yourself tracing hands that's so illegal and so lazy i love it let's try it out featuring my crusty hands bro i hate drawing hands but what i do know is the gaps between the hands they're not v-shaped okay they're u-shaped i'm not a hand expert but i'm an expert at tracing hands now i'm gonna show you this looks traced out it looks
looks so stiff. Don't trace it like that. Let's try it again. Featuring my crusty nails. Now, this time, we're not gonna trace it completely. We're gonna add more pizzazz. Okay, you're gonna see what I mean later. See that? See that? It's less stiff because look at that. I slightly varied the lines. It's a bit thicker at these parts where they converge. So yeah, more or less, it's a little bit better. Let's try it out on an actual drawing. Okay, this is a whip. I found this sock lying on the floor and I just picked it up. I'm telling you guys, it was so musty and dusty. I literally held it up and I accidentally caught a whiff. Ugh. Let me tell you guys, I wanted to pee. But anyway, the things we gotta do for drawing. Anyway, let's remove the background. And now he looks like he's smelling the musty sock. Mm -mm -mm. Yummers. So let's just trace it real quick. Okay, so, so far, it looks like crap. Let's try to shade it. One thing about me, I am so bad at rendering hands. Okay, so I'm gonna add a random blue rim light to salvage my crappy rendering. Why are his nails prettier than mine? Anyway, this is the end result. It looks so freaking weird. Send help. Next. Trying a new technique I saw on TikTok. Oh, wow. Wait, this guy's trying to draw hands? Ooh, let's try it out. Okay, guys, this is called border effect on Clip Studio. This is why Clip Studio is on top. Link in the description. So, you can even, like, draw jewelry or something using this. Anyway, let's draw a hand real quick. First, we draw the base, which is basically a polygon like this. And then the little fingers. Okay, interesting. Okay, this sucks. I definitely prefer the Tracy hand one. You know what? Let's try it one one more time. First, let's draw the base. Okay, now we're just gonna focus on the silhouette, you know what I'm saying? And then just focus on the outside like this. Again, just a silhouette. And then the crusty as heck nails, bro. And yeah, more or less solid tip. I prefer tracing though. 8 out of 10. Next, pro tip. Start drawing heads as cylinders instead of boxes. Bro, who draws heads using boxes in the first place? Place features along the contours of the cylinder. Boxes are so confusing, lol. Works for other other face angles too. Try it out and see if it works for you. Psst, don't tell me what to do. Anyway, let's try it out. Okay, first we draw a can. It looks like a zero calorie Coca-Cola can. And now we draw a face. All right. Okay, I'm gonna stop being corny aft now, guys. Let's actually try it. All right. And okay. I mean, it sort of works. Mm, let's try it again. Uh, okay, I'm not even gonna lie. What's next after this? Like, they literally look like cylinder men. They look like they're shaped like that. Okay, in the end, I still prefer using the circle. It's called the Loomis method. Loomis method is superior. But, you know, whatever works for you, bro. I'm not your mom. 6 out of 10. Hope you guys liked this vid. Watch this next and I'll see you there. Stay cool.